Here we have another form of diffuser. This one's a ceiling diffuser. Now, we're in heat right now, so in order to understand how this thing works, or in this case doesn't work, we're going to have to take some temperatures. Now this diffuser, being in the ceiling, he goes up. If your diffusers are in the ceiling, there's going to be a stratification of temperature. It's not going to heat evenly. Now, I'm going to do a demonstration on this thing because I can tell you how this works and it's fairly obvious, but it's probably better to see what's happening. Now it's heating right now, it's fairly cool outside. And let's see if we can find out what the temperature is close to the ceiling and then close to the floor. Okay, now we're set up with a temperature probe about four inches from the ceiling. So let's see what temperature we're reading. Looks like we pretty much settled down around 73 degrees. Now let's take a temperature close to the floor. Now we have the temperature probe within uh, about three inches of the floor. So what is our temperature? Okay, it's actually below 60 degrees. So there is a pretty big difference between the ceiling and the floor in the temperature with using that ceiling diffuser. So let's check it. Same house, different room, same day with floor diffuser. Now here we're in a room that has a floor register in it and we have a temperature probe. The probe is about four inches off the floor and you can see we're between 67 and 68 degrees. Let's take a check on the ceiling. Okay, here we have about four or five inches from the ceiling and the temperature is reading about 73. Let's take a look at what these different numbers were and see if we can make a conclusion in this thing. Okay, with the ceiling diffuser, we had a temperature of 73 at the ceiling and we had 60 at the floor. So there's a wide difference differential between the two 13 degrees. That 60 degrees is going to be ver feel very cold on your feet. So that's going to make the rest of you feel cold too. So let's compare that to the stratification of the uh, floor register. Okay, with the floor diffuser, the high up temperature close to the ceiling was 72, and we were 67 near the floor. Now there's still a stratification there, but it's not anywhere near as extreme. And the 67 will keep you fairly warm, you know, in your feet and leg areas. That's what the difference is between these two. So that's why the uh, ceiling register, in my opinion, does not work near as well for heat as the floor register. Now in the next video that I do on this, we'll talk about ceiling registers and air conditioning.